Hey, hey, now I want y'all to pay attention. Now listen, shout out to Lil TJ, and I'm gonna keep it gangster. I wish they wouldn't have caught the niggas that did it because I know Lil TJ and them squad they gonna handle it. But I want you to pay attention to how fast a shooting that happened at midnight got solved, and the niggas probably <laughs> over the bridge toll on them that quick. Forty eight hours they didn't caught the niggas. Well, I'm about. So Wack, you approve of the way Lil TJ's situation got handled? That's what you're saying because you said with them. Nah, hell no. Nah. I mean because. Ooh. What I'm telling that nigga see is that, bro, this is some street shit going on. They solved, the police solved it in 48 hours. Ain't no more streets no more. Uh, the streets, streets been gone. Little TJ and them, them some official little niggas. I know a squad. You know what I'm saying? So they, they don't want them niggas in jail. They were trying to rob the nigga. They were, they were putting up. But you got to remember, bro, they know who it was because it was some niggas they was going to meet. You know what I'm saying? Or some niggas they recognize. So, but in two days, the police know who three niggas is. Somebody snitching. <laughs> My <laughs> challenge. Oh, he was just really loved over there. What if they got caught on camera? <laughs> oh, you missing the point. Man. This shit happened in Edgewater. And Edgewater don't give this a fuck it. about them niggas that try to get little TJ guy. As long as it's little TJ niggas, is gonna make sure them niggas is not going nowhere. We getting the niggas. So honestly, it's a it's a caliber of person. Like it's little TJ. It's not no regular Edgewater nigga from New York. Just outside. This is little TJ. We talking about fuckers. We talking about the nigga that did it ain't from Edgewater. Believe it's a New York nigga that did it. Believe um, that. Listen, as long as little TJ's still alive and them niggas is where they need to be at, it is what it is. Because niggas is playing. Yeah, we can't lose all these niggas. I don't want no nigga that shot me in jail. Back. That's gonna piss me back. off. But I hear I'm a gangster. Facts, facts, facts. But see, when you got you say you got your reach though, so if a nigga go to jail and they still fucked up, right? I uh, fuck all that. That's cool too, nigga, but Mm. You know, because I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna tell you why I get worse. When niggas go to jail, you know, niggas get evil, bro, when shit like this happen. Now it's forcing a nigga. Cause now we want you to feel it. So now we're gonna touch everything around you. Cause it's gonna take us a minute to touch you where you at. Especially if they got you PC'd up. You know, that takes some doing. So now we want you to hear about it in the mail and on the phone. Really force you to do some old evil demonic shit we really shouldn't be doing. But we just fucked up like that, so we're going to do it anyway. And you know. But I'm just letting niggas know, in 48 hours, they didn't call three niggas. And trust me, old lady from down the street ain't the one that gave me the information. Oh, what if it was the detectives from First 48 on there? I'm just kidding. They probably thought they were going to take them out, though. How many times they shot them? Oh, no. Nah, you know when the nigga shoot a nigga, he's probably crazy. They were talking about like, like every time, time or something. You can Y'all kill a nigga. Y'all Google stuff now? Damn. I said it. Google it. So what, they was trying to rob blood and they shot him? I mean, I mean, we don't know that. It could have been. You know, and through how 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 is he? I ain't. So I they said it. two of the people, two of the people that was with him, set him up. Two of the people that was with him set him up. And yeah, just and just like Ox said, man, somebody he know, man. I, I, I called that from the bro. gate. I yeah, said they had to know weed, where he was gonna be, what he had on him, and what was going on with him. See if your squad don't feel what you feel, you don't need to be around him. Sandy, I know you're washing dishes. I had to meet your mate. <laughs> How you washing dishes? So Nikki, so, Nikki, let me get this right. You saying mm -hmm. that you must rather the police get them? I'm not saying none of that. None of that. First of all, you know that didn't come out of my mouth, Wack. Where you got that from what I said? Now, what you said? All I'm saying is I'm glad TJ, little TJ alive and he's all right. Yeah, for sure. 
and all the other gangster stuff, you know, I'm just listening to you. You said how you, you said how you felt, and I was listening to your um. Nah, your I know TJ Squad. Them niggas with that. Them bullshit. niggas in Edgewater is not New York niggas. He, they not from TJ. Ain't from no fucking Edgewater. I'm no duh. Come on. They from that's not no New York situation that happened in that's New York. That's definitely New York. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a New York situation. Huh. They, they just it just happened. I don't think in you know everything, Mr. Mr. Happened Mr. In you don't know everything. It just happened in Edgewater. Them, them ain't no ain't no Edgewater niggas got it. Yeah, that's yeah. some little Bronx niggas that bought the beef over the jersey. That ain't nothing over there. Entertainers, at. old people. It's Who the fuck said you don't know everything, Nikki? Huh? Who said you don't know everything, Nurse Nikki? I don't. Yeah, I heard that too. I was about to Rude. Say. I oh, that's what they said. Golly. Say what y'all said. Always who said trying it? to figure out who you said heard, what. You heard what Sandy said. You talking? Oh Golly, Ain't nobody I'm listening to, to whack. Whoever, whoever that lady's talking, please forgive me. I don't know who's talking. You heard what TJ said. He said you don't know everything. Who little TJ said that? No, TJ on stage. I'm not even listen. When you talking to me, I, let me see. It was a female's voice. <sighs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. What's fucked up, Wack? You trying to get me in some shit? Hey, Wack, did you hear uh, <laughs> little TJ's little TJ's homies uh, pulled up on the uh, on the ops when they they got down, shot the shot the three guys. No, nah, that ain't what it said. It, I thought it said that when during the process of the robbery, they shot the nigga. Like I thought, yeah, they're in the process. That niggas got shot. Yeah, by that's, his right. that's how it went I, I told you. I said this shit went two ways. Either they were trying to rob TJ and TJ and them shot that nigga. I see either way it go, it's going to get a little bad. That's why I was hoping everybody lived. So and whoever died, 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 But see, here go the day. Once again, it's been three days. How the police know all this? That's what I'm saying. The dude that they said the guy got that got shot went to the hospital. That's how they tracked him down. Okay. How they know what's going on? Somebody he died. Didn't he die? Ain't nobody supposed to be saying a robbery was going on. Ain't nobody supposed to be. Ain't ain't going to say I was trying to rob. How the police know what's going You know how many times it been shit on both sides and the police like, hey, we know this shit is tied, man. We don't know them niggas. We, we, we ain't never seen them niggas in our life. Who's how they know? How do they know all these details? Somebody telling him. <laughs> now look, now you see that? Now what? That's the question I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask the you in the floor, right? Like you, you just made that point. Somebody let them know it's a robbery. That so now, if now the case is gonna happen, right? Whoever that person was initially that set it out to, to let it be known as a robbery never showed back up in court. Is that person a rat or, or because they never Straight came up. back? Huh? Hell yeah, he a rat. All right, well, I'm I done then. See that. Right. How you going to oh, play with self-defense? You ain't got to understand uh, All right, well, then, well, well, I'm done then. When niggas ask me that, you know what I'm saying? The question about the homeboy that's shit. That's new there shit, bro. There that's that new shit, bro. What they say, oh, I told, but I didn't show up. Or I told, but he beat the case. It don't matter. You cooperated. You put it in motion, nigga. If yeah. you would never, if you would never said it was what it was, then it wouldn't have been that. <laughs> the DA wouldn't even brought the charge. Let me, let me ask you though, Wack. Check this out. What, 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 what about your, your, your self defense though? If a nigga try to rob you and you smoke him. And you say, hey, this nigga tried to rob me. I did what I had to do. Is that snitching? Hey, bro, listen. If a nigga try to rob you, you kill him, right? At that point in time, all, only thing I'm going to say is self-defense. That's it. I ain't giving up no detail, y'all. Yeah, forget. you ain't got to give up nothing. Nigga, yeah, yeah, nigga, pull out, nigga, yeah, nigga, pull out a weapon, and, and they're they, no, they going to see that. What That's what it is. You ain't got to say shit. They're going to see that. That nigga had a gun. You smoked him. They're going to be able to figure that out, bro. That's their job. You don't need to say nothing else. Hey, self-defense, and I'll plead the fifth. That's it. That's it, bro. I'm not, That's where your legal team come into play. Lawyers still gonna gotta give an account of what happened, regardless. 
My lawyer ain't got to give shit. The motherfucking investigators that show up go tell you what happened. Check. They go see a body over there, gun in a nigga hand, and you know, my, now unless I'm hit and can't move, I'm out of there anyway. Period. And I'm out. Nigga, ain't nobody hanging around. I'm out. You got to come get me. The shit be crazy that niggas be trying to make certain circumstances like, yo, if it's a certain nah, bro, either you don't talk to them niggas or you do. Bro, it's that Caddy, simple, man. I went through that shit with the, um, the little nigga, whatever that nigga is that told on. That's why the Max really real nigga got so. I said, bro, the cool to be nigga. I said, bro, it says right here that cool to be said 6 9 paid him to go have the shots fired at Chief Keith. He said, but whack, when you cop out, you got to tell, I say, bro, you nigga. That's a lie. These niggas is out of their fucking mind. But this is what they telling each other is cool to do. So every time a nigga get put in that situation in that generation, they think it's cool to do it. They breeding rats. They teaching niggas to tell. That's a fact. They think that it's okay to do that shit nowadays. I'm telling you, I, I can't think of the, uh, the technical law term. But there's a term for when you cop a plea and you don't say anything else. You just take your responsibility and that's it. I don't want to say nothing about nobody else. I just want to own my shit and keep it. Clean. No la contest. That's it. But by doing that, you may be putting, you obviously putting other people in the hole because you was You ain't putting nobody in the hole, nigga. Hey, let me tell you something. If they say, yo, you going to cop out, you looking at 30, you cop out, we give you 12. Okay. Okay. What up? Listen. I had the nine millimeter. I hit the man upside the head with the gun. I took his watch and fifteen hundred dollars out of his pockets. Who drove the okay. car? I don't know. What me? Who the fuck? Who, what me? This is what I did. This is the role I played. Everything else, I can't help you with. Fuck out of here, my nigga. You talking thing? I didn't been there. I don't know. Right, 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 right. I get you. Were these, were these people with you right here in this six pack? And I don't know nobody in this six pack. And from this point on, I exercised my Fifth Amendment right. I told you what I did. That's the part I played. But see, it's motherfuckers like you, who y'all want to get smart and act like this is school. Well, what? No, it's no well. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If, if, I, if I only, if I only say this, then that's when not nah, nigga don't say uh, shit. Don't say it ain't cool shit. to get a cheeseburger on an interview. <laughs> Any information that you give that implements anybody other than yourself, you tell it. One Yo, we all met at Keith's house. Keith wasn't even there for the robbery, but guess what you just did? Now you just said to put him in Keith's house, and now they said, Keith, who left your house? Who was at your house to get in that blue car right there? No, Keith get nervous. Fuck, I got to do with this shit. Oh, it was Lil Johnny, Lil Ed, Lil Ed Bold, and Lil Kill Kill. Well, these same four names is who they identifying at the motherfucking crime scene. There you go. Now they kicking in Keith's mom's door. Hmm. Yeah. But and, and, and her house gonna be deemed a gang house fact. after that. They probably take her to jail too. They take everybody child, they child in danger, all kinds of sh other shit goes on top of that. They tearing that whole house apart, bro. Listen, man, I'm gonna tell you like this. I don't give a fuck about none of them. This is the ways of their streets. This is these ain't my streets. That's why I tell niggas. You, man, don't come talking to me about no streets, nigga. Fuck your streets. These ain't my streets, nigga. I'm running my program the way I've been running it. Nigga, you niggas out here doing all kind of fuck shit up under the sun. You know what I'm saying? This show, this what y'all doing, that's cool. Don't come talk to me about what I'm doing in the building. I'm going to do what I want to do in this building. This shit does not involve the police. Or the commission of a crime. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing out there. Ain't been a robbery. Everybody handled their business. I'm finna get this nigga. All right. It's obvious somebody with a little TJ was lying to the nigga. 
Nigga pull up, they handle their business. Nigga attempt to rob. He blaze, they blaze. This nigga hit. He go to the hospital. This nigga down the street. He go to the hospital. Okay. Yo, uh, what was you doing in the area? Man, shit, I'm a United States citizen, man. I was getting some gas. I was just driving around. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Ain't no what you doing in the area. Oh, man, somebody called me over there and this dude, and you know, they tried to rob me. Ain't no, ain't none of that. Ain't none of that, bro. You don't know shit. Ain't, ain't nothing. You don't know nothing, bro. Nothing. But the problem is you get three tattoos and get a broke nigga that just got out of prison who really from the streets, put them around you, and voila, you a street nigga. <laughs> That's the starter kit. <laughs> That's the starter kit. That's the starter kit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this same individual, when he's placed in a situation, he gonna respond like a non-street nigga would. It takes time, bro. <clears throat> when I'm young and I, we on bikes, yo, you heard what happened to that nigga D? What happened? Man, they fucked that nigga up. They stabbed that nigga up. They was beating him with bats. No, oh, yeah. We 10, 11, 12. Damn, why they do that? My Uncle Momo said that nigga snitched. You know, shit, that's why they did that. Damn, they did that to that nigga for telling? Yeah. All right, next thing you know, I mean, you hear what happened to big, big, this nigga? What, what? Man, they shot that nigga up, man. Yup, what? Why he do that? Shit, they say that nigga snitched. That's so now when you up under that light, understand what I'm telling you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You heard what happened to that nigga? What, you, what, what? Man, you see what they did with that nigga in my mouse? Yeah, they shot it up. Yeah, she got shot like four or five times. What? They say that nigga in jail snitching. It's court day. They told him, don't go to court if he go to court. You know what I'm saying? They shot the mama house up. Get up under that light. Well, yo, you know who did it? Yeah, training says, you know, if you do that, this gonna happen. Oh, pick your poison. That's it. These days, Nah, it's cool because he was brother. copping out. And because he was copping out, he had to. It's cool. Nah, everybody kick it. It's cool. Don't nothing happen. Nigga, I'm going to be real. If I was growing up and a nigga was looking at 5, 10, 15, 20 years and nothing nothing happens, it was no, it was no nothing. <laughs> nah, whack. Nah, whack. Check this one. Nah, he had to. I'd have told on everybody. Yeah, look, well, he had to tell because, look, he just came home from doing 15 and the parole uh, would have violated him. Parole was going to violate him, so he had to say something. He had to say something. Huh? So now when they lay that down, nothing happens to the individual. Nah, a nigga got in that hot seat. Nigga thought about his mama, daddy, sister, brother. But you was going to have to go to? Nah. We ain't doing no telling. Or let your family have a little juice in the hood. Oh no, nah, he, 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 that's his family over there. We don't, we can't fuck with him. Gee, that shit didn't work for my generation. We knocking shit down. We use that as an excuse to go get what we wanted to take from you anyway. <laughs>